In Philippians 4, we're instructed not to be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving to let our requests be made known to God. With this in mind, please join together with me in prayer. Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus, our Savior, and with the help of the Holy Spirit, humbly submit ourselves to you, seeking all that which is agreeable to your will with reverence, humility, fervency, faith, and love. Father, bless those who you have appointed to positions of civil authority. Direct and constrain them to act consistent with the lawful purposes for which you have established them in their various offices, so that the law would be no impediment to our aspirations to live quietly, minding our own affairs, that we might walk properly before outsiders and be dependent on no one, as you have instructed us in your word. God, we pray that you would be pleased to come to the aid and comfort of those in our congregation who are sick in body, mind, or spirit, to those whose jobs require exposure to disease, to those who are separated from loved ones, to those whose businesses or schooling have been disrupted, to those facing financial hardship and uncertainty, indeed to all of us who face dangers, trials, and temptations of every kind in this present evil age. Provide for us in our time of need, guard our hearts from all bitterness, granting us patience and constancy that no matter our circumstances, we would be faithful and obedient till the end. Our God, we praise you because all those you effectually call, you also freely justify, pardoning our sins and accounting and accepting us as righteous, not for anything wrought in us or done by us, but for Christ's sake alone, imputing to us his obedience and satisfaction so that we are justified by receiving and resting on Christ in his righteousness by faith, which we have not of ourselves, but is the gift of God. Father, by your spirit, remind us that you do not save us grudgingly, but rather as a loving father who from all eternity decreed to justify all your elect, making us partakers of the grace of adoption by which we have your name put upon us, have access to the throne of grace with boldness, are enabled to cry, Abba, Father, are pitied, protected, provided for, and chastened by you as by a father, yet never cast off, but sealed to the day of redemption, and inherit the promises as heirs of everlasting salvation. Father, with this in mind, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, even as you chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love, you predestined us for adoption to yourself as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, by which you have blessed us in the beloved. In you we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of your grace, which he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight, making known to us the mystery of your will, according to your purpose, which you set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Father, we know and confess that all of this is true, but in this time of trial, it is difficult not to be forgetful and for our assurance to be shaken, diminished, and intermitted. Yet since it has pleased you to command us to call on you in all our troubles and adversities, promising even then to help us when we feel ourselves as it were swallowed up by death and desperation, we utterly renounce all worldly confidence and flee to your sovereign bounty as our only stay and refuge, asking you not to call to remembrance our manifold sins whereby we provoke your wrath against us, neither our negligences or unkindnesses towards one another, which do neither worthily esteem nor in our lives sufficiently express the sweet comfort of your gospel revealed to us, but rather to accept the obedience and death of your son, Jesus Christ, who by offering up his body and sacrifice once for all, has made a sufficient recompense for our sins. And although we are but feeble creatures, you are our creator, and we are the works of your hand. You are our father, and we your children. You are our shepherd, and we your flock. You are our redeemer, and we the people whom you have bought. You are our God, and we you and your inheritance. Therefore, O dear Father, Grant that our souls may continually watch for that time that our Lord Jesus shall appear for our deliverance out of this mortal life 
and that in this difficult season, we not be overcome by temptations, fantasies, dreams, or illusions, but may fully set our mind upon you, fear you, and rest in you to the glory of your holy name. Amen. As we continue to worship the Lord with our giving, I would encourage you to make use of the Redeemer Connect app or the CCB or the link that you've been provided to give of your tithes and offerings. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank You for Your blessings to us. Our our needs are provided for, and You have blessed us beyond that. Lord, we thank You that You have given to us abundantly, both physically and spiritually. And now we ask that you'd bless these gifts, use them for your glory, and give great wisdom to your leaders as we seek to honor you with their use. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.